this song. I'm gonna make this quick video. Seem like I've been on the go a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, these last couple of days, getting some business things done. On top of still doing credit, I stop it. On top of still getting my condo up to par, and um, so I want to make this uh, quick video about hello thank you so much for the digital love thank you so much for the digital to love hello kendra how are things going in michigan hope it's not um snowing there now you know this was this was yeah i think that was in michigan it was snow some weeks ago right but um let me get right into the topic i just uploaded a video on my youtube and my facebook page with T.I. Uh, and an expert on why people need a home-based business. And I listened to it several times because even though it was less than a five-minute video, you have to listen. Listen, okay, that's good. Um, you have to listen to things more than one time to grasp, <coughs> excuse me, to grasp the messages or the gems that's been thrown out or stated. And so in listening to that video or that small clip of why you need a home-based business, right? T.I. reference to the family hustle, um, you know, how his wife, his children, all of them get paid. So whether you're watching this live or, or you're watching this on the replay, I want you to comment. Bills, bills, B-I-L-L-S, are expenses expenses e x s p e n s e s bills are expenses and i'm gonna make it real simple for you all and i'm gonna explain to you how you can keep more money you can make more money and you can get more money right these things you need to do to keep more of your money to make more money and to get more money right so Number one, keeping more money. The middle class is often confused when they hear the phrase, you have to keep more of the money you make. Immediately that mind goes into, I have to live more frugal, right? I have to stop spending, which is true. Let me adjust my phone, okay? Which is true in most cases, you do have to stop spending. Um, I can't understand, for example, for the life of me, and I hope this is fake news that I saw, that the New York Times posted an article that when Atlanta opened, that people were in line to buy the New Jordans, right? The very first thing people have to understand, and they need to read the book or listen to the audio, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, is understanding what's an asset and what's a liability. An asset is anything that put money into your pocket. Liability are things that loses value, depreciate, and takes money out of your pocket. Jordans during this time, televisions during this time, vehicles, especially new vehicles during this time, are all liabilities, right? These are all liabilities, things that depreciate in value, and will take money out of your pocket that you can't afford to give out. And this is why we have 30 million Americans that have filed for unemployment. Those numbers are higher than the Great Depression in the 1930s. I don't think you all understand where we are headed into the future. You don't understand this. This is not a six weeks shut down because a, of a quote unquote health crisis and we're going back to normal. It's not going back to normal. It's not going back to normal and you don't know that because you watch too much television and you don't read articles right? Everyone has smartphones you need to start reading the news articles on those smartphones from Forbes, from Bloomberg from New York Times, from LA Times right? CNN articles are debatable at times, whether it's true or accurate. You need to start reading that so you can know where we're going in this economy. You need to start reading so you will know that the oil rigs in North Dakota 
may be shutting down because of the oil crisis. What people don't understand, we were in a bad economy, whether this health crisis happened or not. The health crisis are just going to help the government play the blame game on why this economy was so bad. People can't get out of the way and they can't see it coming. They, they can't see, they must can't see it coming. They absolutely can't see it coming, but it's coming. And so what they have to do is, again, going back to TI and listen to that video clip. If you are fortunate to have a job moving forward, right? And you work from home, just because you work from home does not mean you have home-based business tax deductions. Now, let me break this down for you. If you are an employee, you only, in 2018, the tax laws changed, right? I had nurses telling me, teachers, I'm in public school systems, where teachers could used to write off $200 for expenses and supplies. That was gone. Nurses telling me they couldn't write off their, their um, scrubs or the EULA tax deduction that they had. So if you're an employee, you only have eight tax deductions. Whereas if you are a business, you, you have 475. And I'm gonna tell you why that's a big, big deal, just the size of the number spread. 6.2% of your paycheck is taken out in taxes. Inflation is the prices of goods and services increasing every year. That's what inflation is. Inflation every year on the prices of goods and services, daycare, gas, groceries, whatever, is at 2.5%. So you have roughly 9% of your money coming out in taxes and inflation. So if you, right, if you don't find a way to keep more of that money, and I'm not talking about cutting expenses, even though people need to change their spending, it's the difference between cutting expenses and change your spending. Stop buying liabilities. Stop it. Stop buying this stuff. How many televisions do you need? My God. You know, you're listening to these talking tube heads on TV that's giving you fake news anyway. You're listening to uh, Housewives of whoever because I don't watch much television. You, Netflix is taking you out and you're not getting educated. People, it's a reason why they don't teach this in schools. It's a reason why they don't teach this in school. Yes, thank you. Taxes are your number one expense. And what do you think is going to happen when these stimulus checks are distributed out? Do you think taxes are going to remain the same? No. That money has to be paid back to the feds. And they're going to get it back in taxes. Taxes are going to increase. That's not free money. So what do you have to do? You have to, number one, stop the number one expense, taxes. Then you have to stop purchasing or buying liabilities. Now, also, 475 business tax deduction. That means, and I ask you all to put this, whether you're watching this live or in the replay, bills versus expenses. Bills versus expenses. You all have bills. You have bills if you don't have a home-based business. When it comes to paying your cell phone, when it comes to paying your cable or your Netflix or whatever your service provider is, when it comes to paying your lights, your water, your gas bills, when it comes to taking family uh, vacations, you have bills. Now, because I have a home-based business, I have expenses that I get to write off as tax deductions. So instead of it being called a vacation, it's a business trip for me that the family goes on and I conduct a little. See, when I went to see the Los Angeles Lakers and I went to LA in December, because I have a lot of clients or people that tune into me on YouTube from California and LA, I set up a business meeting during that trip live business meeting with the person we talked about his credit situation 
And that became a business tax write-off expenses for me. Not a family vacation trip. Even though my daughter and I went and we got an, an opportunity to see the Lakers and the Clippers play on Christmas Day. My bucket list, right? That became tax deductible. See, if you don't have a home-based business, you have bills. I have tax deduction expenses, right? So I could get some of my money back that I spend. My utilities, my cell phone, my um, mileage, depreciation that I put on my vehicles every year are tax deduction expenses for me. It's not a bill. Maintenance on my vehicle, depreciation is expenses for me. It's not a bill, right? So that's the first thing you have to do is keep more of your money. Second thing, get your credit repair and restored right to get more of your money people credit should not be a lifestyle for you you should not be financing things on credit that you cannot afford if you cannot cannot afford that used vehicle straight out cash then you should not be purchasing unless it's an and necessary needs to get you transportation to get you to and from back from work in order to get money or income right your house of course i know a house is six figures by the time you pay up you save up six figures for a home right you may be dead and gone right but what you do is you use credit and you use specialized budgeting techniques and strategies with your credit to pay off any house, six-figure home in seven to 15 years. It's called Velocity Banking. Google it. You can take credit cards, which are simple interest, and attack the mortgage of your loan, which is amortization interest, and pay off any mortgage in seven to 15 years. Because if you don't, and you just pay a 15 or 30 year mortgage outright, you are going to pay 10 times in interest fees. You have a $250,000 loan for um, a mortgage of 30 year. It doesn't matter if, even if you had a 3.75% interest rate, a 2% interest rate. If you do nothing but pay on the life of that loan, and I'm even talking about, you know, submit an extra payment in. It, it's got to be more than that. Send in an extra mortgage note at the end of the year. That won't uh, tackle that debt. A two hundred and fifty thousand dollar mortgage that's paid at, at very low interest rate. I'm gonna say three point seven five percent. You will pay back at least a hundred thousand dollars back in interest charges because there's a difference between amortization interest, which means you are charged on a daily basis on any mortgage you have, versus simple interest that credit cards offer. Right, so if you don't know about that, study velocity banking. Those are the strategies you need to be financially free. And then, people, you have to get more money. And this is where the home-based business come in. Now, that Ti video clip was a little old, you know, because she was talking about Mary Kay home-based businesses. Um, and during this time in 2020, those type businesses will not thrive in this recession. Right. Those type businesses will not thrive in this recession, right? So what you do is in this economy is you get, you tap into a home-based business that you know people will need. And the home-based business that I partnership with and my partners are with, it helps people with bad credit as well and get more money out of their paycheck. So did you all know, for example, that you can hire your kids in this home-based business between the ages of six and 17, and you can get $12,000 of tax deductions for each child. Even those groceries that you're spending out right now, right? Um, grocery money that you're spending can be tax deduction if you set it up and structure it the right way. See, these are the loopholes that the rich and wealthy know to do. This is what the middle class, because, and again, this is why you're not taught this in school. These are the, that's why the rich and wealthy will never pay taxes because they know these things. They will never pay high taxes. The middle class, 
beginning this year <clears throat> is at a point where we can be permanently wiped out if you all don't learn these strategies and loopholes to better your financial future. Permanently wiped out. And so, get with me. Send me an email. Go to my website, rather. www.fixmycreditcandcash.com And click on the home base business tab. Another thing you have to do is get your credit. Get your credit at a 680 or above. Because in July, back to that, in July, FICO 10 is coming. And that's going to drop 40 million Americans' credit score if you are at a 680 or already struggling the line. You need to stop paying at these high interest on these vehicles you refinance, on these bad loans, these high credit cards, 14, 24% interest rates, um, credit card interest. I have credit cards at 0% interest rate, right? You need to get good credit and get out of these bad credit and debts that you have negotiated because your bad credit is costing you hundreds and thousands of dollars every, every month and every year. That's what your bad credit is costing you. So I've, I've reached, I'm in my condo. I had to do some work. But those are three steps. Another thing, um, before I say this, because the cleaning people are here but day two, is you have to know what to invest in. You have to know what to invest. At some point, your money has to grow. You can get your credit restored. But if the reason why you, you had to get bad loans and bad debt is because you don't have enough income. Your income is too low. You don't have cash flow coming in. All you have is one paycheck. And if that paycheck is cut off, you have no other options to survive. See, cash is not keen because as soon as these um, uh, states are open back up, you're losing your purchasing power in cash. It's, it's slowly depreciating the purchasing power because prices has to increase. Right, we're going to enter into hyperinflation and stagflation, which means we're going to have high unemployment and high pricing all at the same time. Groceries are going to increase because farmers now saying they have to uh, throw away their crops. Um, gas is going to increase going into the summer, right? So you have to be prepared for stagflation, high unemployment. We're already at 30 million and high get my keys high unemployment and high pricing especially in the gas and grocery sector so prepare for that and you have to grow your money now these are my alliterations to grow your money that you need to do number one today the bitcoin having is taking place um i think in seven days seven days and you all know I always relate to the Bible about my things the Bible is number one selling book on prosperity and money management anyway so the Bitcoin having is scheduled to take place in seven days so with that let me get my phone out Because I'm uh, got to get some work done and the people are coming in my condo. So what What the... Okay, what the Bitcoin having is, you need to look at uh, crypto. What Bitcoin having does, it cuts the supply and demand of the cryptocurrency that's available. And crypto is currency. It's just like cash. It's currency. It's not money. Gold and silver is real money. But crypto is currency right like cash and it's a great insurance against what's coming up with the dollar depreciation because i just told you your purchasing power your dollar is slowly dropping so what you do with the bitcoin having that's coming in seven days it cuts your supply and demand the bitcoin having cuts your supply and demand meaning that there will be less bitcoin available to purchase right and the less bitcoin available to purchase the higher the value of the increase is just like anything else that's why uh, silver and gold right now which is real money constitutional money supply is low you you can't 
go online and find silver, physical silver to purchase like you want to because whenever the purchasing power of the dollar decreases, currency like Bitcoin, which is seven days, and money, which is gold and silver because um, printed cash is just fiat currency. And that's something you don't learn in school. I can't give you a lesson on that. But you need crops. You need crypto. So if you have any farmland, um, because grocery is going to be scarce. I just read an article about Tyson Foods. Uh, farmers having to throw away their produce. and pro You know, um, you need uh, coins, specifically silver coins, because silver will outperform physical silver will outperform gold this year because silver is also an industrial metal and you need credit and you need a cash flow in business. You need all of those five C's. You need crypto, you need credit, you need a cash flow in business, you need crops, and yeah, I think I covered all of them. And you need coins. The, the uh, silver is, is at a 116 to 1 ratio to gold, so it will outperform gold if you can find it. So you can find all this on my website, www.fixmycreditandcash.com. So um, I have to meet these people to get my some things there with my condo, and I'll probably go live tonight. So check me out later on tonight, and you all have a great day. Y'all have a great day.